welcome back to my channel. Listen, it is just shaky and bumpy because, whoa, there we go, because um, I don't have a, a thing on my the dash. I'm with my friend Debbie today, and we are headed right now to the Goodwill Bins. If you've never been to the Goodwill Bins, it's, it's not for the faint of heart. I'm gonna tell you that. We've been one time, and we were both a little, um, I don't know what the word was, not scared, but maybe a little. <laughs> Maybe a little scared. People are serious. They're about, serious. They're yeah. like stuff. You don't touch their stuff. You, you, there are unspoken rules that you better learn fast. Now, from TikTok, because that's where I get all my news, is TikTok. This particular Goodwill bands that we're going to, they do not let you uh, record. I have seen people that have gone here, and um, some of the workers will like yell at them and tell them not to record. So I'm not gonna be able to record anything, but if we walk away with anything good, I'll show you a haul. But um, we are along for the day. We're gonna go there and some several other Goodwills. We have been friends for 17 years. Like that's a long time. We are both very old and seasoned and that's the kind of friend you need to get. We'll go months without talking to each other and then one of us might send a crazy TikTok, and that's okay. And then sometimes we might just see each other. Like during the summer, we tend to see each other more. Um, she is a seasoned thrifter, and I've just kind of gotten the bug in the past few months. So the good thing about us is, though, she's not going to fight me over Ironstone, and I'm going to let her have all them tank tops. <laughs> because if I really want one, I'll get it when she donates it back, because that's what she does. All right, so we are getting into some bad national traffic. I've got to catch up and give her some gossip. So I will get back up on here if we find anything good at the bins. Okay, so we just got here at the Goodwill bins. If you see a Goodwill that says the outlet, it is the bins. So we're gonna go in here and hopefully we come out okay and we have some good stuff. Hello. Okay, y'all, so we have been, I have been um, pretty productive today and I have manifested some things I've been looking for. She has bought nothing, which is usually the case. She always buys less than I do. But we went to the Goodwill Bins and I got a lot of things there. Um, she didn't get nothing. We went to the Goodwill, so connected to the Goodwill Bins is like a Goodwill retail. We went there and, um, oh, it broke my heart to leave a picture there, but it was just too damaged. There was not anything I could really do about it. But I did make a couple of purchases and we just left the Music City Thrift and I found a punch bowl that I have been wanting because y'all know they don't have any punch bowls. So <laughs> needed to, to fix that. But we're having a good time. I'm awful at filming inside the stores because I'm selfish and I want to shop and not film. But we'll see where we're off to another thrift store and um, just kind of making our way back around. Okay, y'all. So if y'all live in Middle Tennessee or you are near Nashville and you have small children or small grandchildren, you need to come to Thrift Smart off of what Nolensville Road. Is that where we're at? Because clearly a boutique has gone out of business and donated these precious, precious little clothes. And we'll get your girl here in a minute because they're super cute. There's just all kind of things. Yeah, we'll show you the girls in a minute. And this is just like infant stuff, but there are racks and racks. Oh my gosh. Racks and racks and racks of a precious, precious. Look at that. Precious. These are the kind of clothes I put my babies in. Um, just timeless. Oh my gosh! Look at that. Timeless stuff. I'm gonna go take. We're gonna go look at the girls. Like for 80s days. So look, they even have like for older girls and for the schools that are always doing Decades Day. How perfect is that for 80s day? Oh my gosh! Precious. Almost makes you want to have another baby, doesn't it, Kip? No. No, me either. I'm done. Look at that. I'll dress your baby, but I don't want. I mean, those are so sweet. And there you go. You need to come get this. This would be great for Decades Day. Precious. I'm going to see if they have a little bit over here. Look at that. Oh my goodness. But it just goes on and on and on. 
Y'all, get out. I love this, and it's corduroy. My daughter had um, a few little sweet corduroy dresses. So cute. Oh my goodness. Oh, sailor outfits. They're my favorite. Let's bring these sweet baby clothes back. Let's start dressing our babies like precious, sweet little babies that they are. Look at that. My son had one almost just like this. Oh. And the prices are like this little outfit is $15. You could not have gone into a little boutique and bought that for $15. Plus, they always have the color of the week that is half off. Okay, so we're leaving Thrift Smart. Neither one of us got anything in there. And I usually do pretty good in there, but I just, I didn't see anything. We got so distracted by those baby clothes. <laughs> um, no joke, those things were precious. They had little bathing suits too. They had like everyday wear. They had gowns, gowns like, um, like, you know, nice little, um, silky nightgowns like our grandmas used to wear, uh, baptism for babies, um, just Christmas, birthdays. Like if you're around here and you like that kind of smocked, just sweet little things, um, I would head over here and check it out. If you have niece and nephews, you know, whatever, any reason to buy it. Um, so cute. I know some people decorate with um, little baby clothes, like some people that do like a kind of Victorian so there's some cool things in there so you should cut it's music no it's not it's smart thrift 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 smart thrift is smart on Nolensville Road in Nashville Tennessee so if you're near you should go check it out okay y'all so I'm back from my day of thrifting with my friend Debbie and I'm going to show you a haul um, I'm going to start with all the things that I got at the Goodwill bins and like I had said previously the bins is definitely not for the faint of heart. Like, you have to be a digger. Um, my friend Debbie is not. And, uh, you know, sometimes it doesn't smell the best. Like, you're going through things. And um, she was really trying. We we're pretty sure that some of the things that cat pee on them today. None of the things I bought had that. But there are just lots of smells. There's, you know, it's usually loud in there. There's always lots of kids in there running and playing and kind of not really being watched. Um, and so us working in the school system, that's a little annoying, you know, to us. Oh, I'm sorry. One of my uh, fur babies has decided to join me and knock my tripod over. So anyway, like I was saying, it's just always, you know, I guess we like rules and things, but she almost got hit with a shoe. So, uh, come here. This is Adventure Kitty. He is 10 years old. We love him so much, but he wants to be a part of everything. Isn't that right? Um, and right now he uh, is very interested in my tripod. So he keeps trying to knock it over. You gonna help do the haul? Huh? Are you gonna help do the haul? Okay, he does not like Hazel Grace at all either. And Hazel Grace is in here, so he's not very happy. So anyway, like I was saying, the bins is just not for the faint of heart. Um, I had a lot of fun though. I was digging in and I found some really cool things. So let's get started. The first thing I found was this really large, I don't think you're gonna be able to tell on camera, um, wooden twig stick pumpkin. So there's nothing wrong with it. It's not damaged anywhere. Um, this will be great for fall. So I grabbed that pretty fast. I did buy something practical, um, which is not like me, but the bins is even more hit or miss than actual Goodwill retail stores. You have no idea what's going to be in there. So this is the one practical thing that I got. And y'all, I don't even have it wound up, but I bought this really huge extension cord. We use um, these a lot at Christmas time in the outside um, or, you know, and bless my husband's heart. He's ran over a few um, with the lawnmower. We have a pond outside and um, lighting and things like that. And so it's always good. And to get these at the bins where you're just paying by the pound, I snatched this up. Um, it does looks hardly even used, if used at all. 
So this was a great find today. Now this, I did not really mean to buy. Um, I had seen, I see these a lot on YouTube. I see them in Goodwill all the time. And I had just said, you know, I wanna get a wooden candlestick sconce. So when I saw this, I was super excited and threw it in the buggy, but I never found um, a matching one. And I forgot to take it out of my buggy. So, and the way that you pay, if you've not been to a Goodwill Benz, you roll the buggy up on a scale and they weigh it because you pay by the pound. So anyway, it's fine. Um, I will definitely keep it. It's nice and long. I'm gonna take a picture of it because I see these all the time at Goodwill. So hopefully I will be able to find the match. So, you know, not a whole horrible, too horrible of a loss considering how inexpensive things at the bins are. Okay, now I don't laugh, but I grabbed this baseball. Uh, this is a, uh, you know, the typical old baseball, but I had kind of thought that I might like to start getting some of these to decorate for the 4th of July. So the bins is the perfect place to get things like that. I grabbed this just to kind of go with some of my older vintage kitchen utensils. Now I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that this was, you use this when you're canning. Like, don't you kind of put this down inside the mason jar and pour your stuff in it? Um, I might, you might be able to use it for other things, but I think I have a memory of seeing this being used with canning. So I grabbed that. Now, many of you know I work at a school and I am in behavior. I am the, um, an educational assistant behavioral my title is a behavior interventionist educational assistant. So it's very rare. I am probably one of the very few that I have in my own classroom. Um, and so I pay for everything in that out of my own checking account. Uh, I am not a teacher, so I do not get teacher classroom money. Um, I don't get parent donations. Anything that is in my room for my students, I purchase. So I do um, have done a great job. My classroom is awesome. It's done in superhero themes. The, the theme of it is superheroes and trainings because I do work with students that struggle with their behavior. So I just try to lift them up and encourage them. And I have an area where um, they can come in and have free play if they have earned that throughout the day. So I grabbed um, a Woody and then for some reason I grabbed his twin. <laughs> Just, you know, the kid, they like it so there won't be any fighting. And I grabbed a Buzz. I didn't see Woody's hat, um, but you know, it'll be okay. So got these three little toys for my classroom at the bin. Now, I'm not really sure why I grabbed this. I've had one of these before and I won't be using this, but it's a Pampered Chef ice cream scoop. If you've ever had one of these, you know, you should not ever put them in the microwave. I mean, well, of course you wouldn't put it in the microwave. They'd blow it up in the dishwasher. And, you know, I remember what was cool about this when I got it is there's something about the, the metal that it just kind of melts the ice cream and makes it really easy to scoop. Now, I don't know what happened. I think mine got put in the dishwasher, honestly. So I grabbed this thinking, oh, that, you know, will kind of look cool with my vintage um, utensils, but it really won't. So I may end up donating this back. The, the bins is like a frenzy. I mean, you were just kind of grabbing. Um, you put it in your bag and you think about it later. So this, this might actually go back. I got this wooden sign with number four. There's four of us. So I always like to get things that say four. And also this would be really cute to decorate with um, for the 4th of July. I actually have some of these in with my silver that we got from Greg's mother. It typically comes with a, like a type of casserole dish that sits in it and you put like a, you know, a candle underneath and you can keep it warm or you can just display your dish pretty. Um, and I didn't wanna, you know, I wanna keep all that for what that's really used for. And I see these in Goodwill and sometimes they're cheap. Sometimes they're three or $4. Sometimes they're 10 and $12. And I, I wasn't gonna pay that. Now what I want to use this for, and I'm not sure when I'm gonna use it or exactly if it's gonna turn out right, but I've seen people on YouTube take these things and put their old vintage books, you know, kind of line them up and it just kind of corrals the books on your bookcase. So I may or may not use that that way. Um, if not, I can see me using this for something pretty cool during the fall. So this will just probably go back in my stash until I figure out exactly how I want to use this. But I like the feet and I like all the details. So hopefully that'll, you know, turn out cool. 
Now, we always like to decorate with barn pictures. Um, we have gotten away from that a little bit with um, some of the vintage pictures that we've been putting up, but I grabbed this cute little barn picture. I thought it would be really cute to stick on a bookshelf for the fall. Um, it's definitely not old. It's, I don't know where it come from, um, but it was just a great little find at the bins. Okay, and then another picture that I grabbed was this. And I did look it up. I found just a little bit. I, I wanted to do some more research on it. Um, it's Bessie Peas, and apparently there's a whole um, thing where there's several different of these of little children, and particularly this little girl, um, you know, as in the toddler stages. This one says, um, in disgrace, and I guess it's because she's in timeout. I loved the little, you know, border collie. Um, I just thought it was really sweet. I have no idea exactly. Greg is not gonna like this and he's gonna be like, you're just wasting money. I do have sort of an idea, but I'm just not really sure um, when you will see this in my house. I'm thinking though, I would like to make a vignette in my bedroom. I have a, um, a blanket ladder and I would like to kind of display this with some of my own children's, um, like both of their coming home gowns. I don't know. I don't. I, I don't know if Greg would uh, go for that or not. You know, it's more. Um, it's definitely. I don't know. You know, I don't know if you'd call that a Victorian style or. Um, I would just call it just sweetness. So I don't know. We'll see. But I definitely um, just thought this was the sweetest picture. You will not see it in a gallery wall. I can promise you that. But we'll end up, so I'll show you what I end up doing with this. We'll just leave it at that. And then my last purchase from the bins is one of my favorites. Um, I have just started, well, I've just started all this, but I have two vintage suitcases. And if any of you have those, you know that they are stinking expensive, like ridiculous expensive. Now the two that we have, we paid $7 a piece. We bought them at two different times. Um, one was at a um, antique shop, which I couldn't believe that it was that cheap. And then the other was at a flea market and the lady was using it for display. And my husband asked her if her suitcase was for sale. And at first she's like, no. But then she said, well, I don't know, it could be. And um, he said, well, how much would you want for it? And she said, well, it was $7. Well, yeah, sure, we snuck, we like grabbed that before she realized what she had just done, which I know sounds bad, but anyway. So I found this one. Now this needs a lot of work. And I think I can get some cleaner and kind of, you know, you know, clean it up a little bit, but I found this makeup case. This is what I call it. Um, I don't know what you all would call it, but this was just sitting on the top of a bin. It's got some initials G B K and it is, um, Oshkosh brand. I didn't even know Oshkosh made, um, luggage. I thought they just sold kid clothes. Cause I know I do a lot of business with them, but it has the, uh, the leather handle, just little feet on the bottom of it. Let's see if I can open it up. Yeah. You know, just all kind of goodness. So I'm going to work on this, see if I can at least get some of the like, I don't know, like it looks like crayon or marker marks or something like that. See if I can get that off. And this will go in my bedroom if I have success. Well, even if I don't, it's great find, um, but I do want to try to clean that up a little bit. So that is all, so that is all that I got at the bins. Um, not a huge haul, but I spent a total of $31.17. So I feel like that was a great price. The extension cord alone, um, you know, it can be anywhere between 18 to $24, depending on where you get it at. Um, you know, I did, look up the Bessie P's picture, um, only because my friend and I were just kind of curious about what it was. They sell for quite a bit of, you know, money. We saw one, this, this exact one as a pie is a hundred dollars. Now I'm not a reseller. Um, the only time that I would sell that would be is if I just absolutely cannot come up with something to do. So consider that I got toys and some kitchenware and, um, just a whole lot of very unnecessary things that I did not need. $31 was just not really bad. And that pumpkin, I know 
that I, I've seen those at Kirkland for well up around $45. So I am not um, upset with my total at all. Now connected to the Goodwill outlet bins here at ours is a retail store. So we did run in there. Um, oh, I think I mentioned before this picture, it broke my heart not to get it. It was probably like a 20 by 24. Um, and it was just a, a historical scene. There were about four men um, in the British Army in the red coats and had the wigs. And they were standing outside of like a tavern just having a conversation. And there were um, two horse riders dressed, you know, in that awesome uh, equestrian style that they dressed back then. And with lots of like hunting dogs at the bottom at their feet. It was just absolutely beautiful. And there were some nicks that I knew that I could fix, but there was a, a white, like, I don't even know what happened or how to just, it didn't bother me. I FaceTimed my husband and he was like, do not get that because that's going to bother me and I won't be able to fix it. But it ran like the whole length of the picture. So it was almost like it got laid on something and just kind of, it wasn't a scratch. I just don't know how to describe it. Anyway, it ruined the picture. Um, if it were just me and this were just my home and I didn't share it, it would have came home with me. But I always try to be very, um, you know, considerate. I don't want him in a home full of stuff that he doesn't like. But at that Goodwill, I did make three little purchases. I bought these little creamers because y'all know I don't have none, right? Like I told y'all in one of my videos, I will buy these all day long. Now green was not half off, so they were $3 a piece. Um, but I think they're just great. You can put these in all kind of little vignettes, do all kind of things with them. I love these things. They're one of my weaknesses. Then I bought this. Now I think she is beautiful. She's not marked, so I have no idea. She's very heavy. Um, I would like to pretend that it's iron stone, but I don't have a way of proving that. Um, but it has lots of grazing, um, just lots of patina and grazing. So I don't know. I think it may be, I absolutely love it. I've not cleaned it up yet. And I'm probably just gonna stick some greenery in it. Um, and I may put this upstairs in my foyer. I have one little spot, whether y'all believe it or not, that's not decorated. And um, I think I may try to clean that up and get that put up there. Now, we went to the Music City Thrift and that is the only other store that I bought anything at. We went to several, we went to, um, well, I, so we parted ways around noon and I went to a Goodwill and a thrift store by my house. Um, so I ended up going to, I think I was at three Goodwills, two thrift stores. That sounds about right. And including the bins. But um, our city thrift store, we have a music city thrift and a city thrift. They have a bag wall. And I'm telling you guys, do not sleep on the bag wall because I used to. I used to think it was just probably full of a bunch of junk. It is not. And I have found some amazing things in that bag wall. Um, today, I found, well, there's two things in this little bag. And it's $1.99. So I paid a dollar a piece for each thing. One of the things, I don't even know what it is. I'm gonna, I don't know what that is. I'm gonna donate that bag. I have no use for that. I don't know if it's a paperweight. I don't know what it is, but I don't know it. But the reason I got this, y'all, for a dollar, I got another glass flower frog. Now, if you know anything about these, or if you've looked these up on eBay or Poshmark, they are, in my opinion, for what they are, astronomical. So, I might give a shot it's seeing, trying to sell this on Facebook Marketplace. I am not going to fool with shipping things. So I'm not going to, um, you know, it'll just be a local pickup if anybody wants it. Um, but I definitely don't need this. But for a dollar and knowing what these go for, I was not going to walk away from this. Um, I haven't decided if I'm going to sell it. I may keep it. I may find a home. We'll see, you know, because I'm really after the metal fire frogs. But it was not going to stay at that store for a dollar. And then I got one more thing that I paid for. And this was a true manifestation. Um, I have been looking for one of these and I found one at my little antique store that I like to go to and she had it priced very fair and it had a pedestal with it, which really made it stand out because it's hard at thrift stores to find punch bowls that have pedestals because I think sometimes the workers don't know what they are. Um, 
and they will price it separate because sometimes pedestals in their own right make like a good little bowl. So I looked around, I couldn't find anything that would have been the pedestal. Uh, and I feel kind of bad because the lady knew that I wanted the one at the, um, at the antique store but her price and i'm not working right now i should not have even been out spending money uh, we don't get paid during the summertime we don't have an option to have it extended or anything like that we just we just have to go the length of the summer without paycheck we still have benefits but anyway which that what that means is that i should keep my tail at home but i found one found this at the thrift store i only paid 17 dollars for it um so that was about $40 cheaper than what she was selling it for. She still was selling it at an amazing price. And I had told her when I get back to work, I was going to come get it. But anyway, let me show you guys. Because y'all know I don't have any punch bowls. But it is the Wexford pattern punch bowl. I love this. It has all the little glasses. Um, I have the, I guess, uh, like um, wine glasses that go with this. And I have, um, I may have a platter that goes with this set, but there's just something about it. I've always really liked that pattern, even before um, I had any of it. It's always caught my eye. So with that, that is all the items that I purchased. But my friend who I was with today, she was helping move some of her friends and they were just making a pile of stuff that they were getting rid of. And she knows the things that I like. so. She gifted me today the Wexford tea pitcher. Well, that's what we'll put in it, it's tea. So it could be a water pitcher, but how awesome is that? So now you see why I said I manifested that punch bowl. Um, very practical to get this. And she also gifted me a box of dishes that her friends were getting rid of. And I'm gonna show you a piece of that. Now, I have seen this particular pattern in the Goodwills and um, I just, I've thought that it is so pretty, but you'll just see like, you know, a couple of pieces or whatever. And Greg, for the record, does not like this. But I think for spring that this is going to be a beautiful table setting. Oh, I don't know what I stepped on. A beautiful table setting with the green and the pink and the purple. So I cannot wait to use this for spring. And it's kind of, I haven't even gone through it, but I know there's bowls in there. There's salt and pepper shaker. Um, I have no idea. It's a heavy, heavy box. Um, so I will, you know, over the next couple of days, get this washed up, find it at home and store it until spring and um, pull that back out and see what kind of table escape I can make with it. Okay, y'all, so that is my haul for the day. Um, I think I spent... I may have spent like a total of $60 today. Um, so I got a lot of stuff for that price. If you have a Goodwill bins near you, I encourage you to at least try. You may um, walk out the first time and have to really, <laughs> you know, kind of gear up to go. And it would just really depend on your environment that, that you know, they have said some, uh, I've watched a lot of them on TikTok and um, I see some that just don't look as um, chaotic as mine. So, uh, but yeah, I would give it a try. For $31, I think I got a lot of amazing stuff. I see people all the time find some great antique things on there, vintage things, um, everyday things. So yeah, if you just give it a try. Anyway, I'm, that's Lucy. I don't know what she's chasing. I'm going to end y'all here. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and get out there and do some thrifting. Bye, y'all.